Because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, I still love you. It's been quite the journey guys, from meeting a phony Natsu and being kidnapped onto a boat, to defeating the likes of Agnologia. Hopefully I pronounced these names right because it's been quite a while, forgive me. But it's been the 11 years of fairy tale, and we have finally seen its conclusion. And you know what they say, all good things have to come to an end. <gasps> and with the ending of fairy tale, <laughs> and the beginning of some of you guys' <laughs> mental depression, we are about to reveal some truths to the questions in the last chapter. So, the <laughs> sorry about that, but the hints all fangirls were waiting on, pointing at the most obvious ship in the whole series, and that is of course the one and only Nalu. So we all assumed this relationship was going to occur. We even covered this in our Natsu and Lucy video in which most of fanbase knows that Hiro Mishima confirmed himself and hinted towards that Natsu and Lucy were getting married. If they did get married, they would have a kid together. And if you want to check out those videos if you want and you'll learn a lot more about the characters. However, on a serious note, Fairy Tale is frankly known for its full effect of etchiness and quite a lot of romance in between the action. What we would really like to do is go balls deep into the relationship of Natsu and Lucy as a whole alongside dissecting the blunt last chapter of the actual manga. So let's dive into it. So I know some fangirls are already crying man, I can't control myself. But I do not blame you at all guys, I'm sorry. But some of you have been watching this anime for 11 years and it's part of your childhood. You emotionally invested into it and wanted the characters to fall in love with each other. But with the anti-climatic ending in some of you guys opinion and also Natsu and Lucy not even kissing on the final chapter, it's left us all in an unsatisfied state and I completely understand. Fairy Tale had kicked off with the whole interaction between Lucy and Natsu. If they were not at the same place at the same time, then of course this long lasting journey wouldn't have even begun. The transitions throughout the relationship has only grown much stronger with each individual obstacle Hiro Mishima had put in place. You could tell from the very beginning this whole manga was going to be centered upon the two people. So as we are called Anime Balls Deep, we'll have to take you guys on a trip down memory lane and we'll be taking you to the time when Phantom Guild had attempted to capture Lucy, all through her father's command. During this arc, it was justified by how Mishima wanted to see out this pairing in particular by testing them in a good old fashioned shonen theme, and that is obviously the theme of friendship. <laughs> what the hell was that voice? But anyway, it's a shonen anime after all, but moving on, we managed to gain a fresh standpoint of Natsu's characteristics via his actions towards Lucy. He develops this essence of overprotectiveness and doesn't seem to hide it at all when it comes to Lucy and her well-being. Within the manga, Mishima seems to make fun of it all by creating scenes that includes Natsu and Happy invading her own home. Keeping in mind, this was only the first arc of the manga and their friendship had become solidified at this point. These mini fillers in the manga and anime is what really made it worthwhile to be honest besides all the high speed fighting scenes. The expectation of them confessing their feelings at some point seemed very likely and the anticipation just kept building and building and building up till the final chapter. But Hiro Mishima has mastered the art of being a troll, it seems he's even better than Kijimoto himself. He has been making us ship these guys together from the very start for no reason and I mean this doesn't even make sense right? He was like fuck them and their relationship by keeping that mentality in his mind. He didn't even make them kiss at the end and that's what we're all probably wondering, why didn't they just confirm it? But I guess the real fact is that Mishima only wanted to progress the storyline and he did what any other typical shonen or romance manga club would do and that was to introduce a rival for Lucy during the anime as well where he, remember when he created a kind of love triangle to start up more buzz in the fanbase? 
and he created more debates, making more money of course, as well as this did create more character development for everyone easily and it's a story writing technique most people use to be honest and maybe it kinda worked. And you guys should already know who I'm talking about and yeah I'm talking about Lissana. When Mishima decided to revive her back into the anime you could tell all he wanted to focus on from that moment was the storyline and furthering it on more. But obviously a new ship was created in the process of them being together with Natsu because of you know feelings guys, feelings, I have feelings, I like you, you like me, you like me, I like you, I don't don't know the end of this song but whatever although Lissana was introduced back into the series this didn't really sway the fandom down on wanting Natsu to end up with Lucy and I kind of agree with that I wanted Natsu actually I wanted Natsu to be with Lissana but you guys can flame me in the comments below in fact Mishima said this himself yeah that he was only putting more fuel into the fire which had urged on the confession of both characters we were all waiting on it and all prepared but I guess not even the last chapter of the manga does any justice according to some of you but that's the way Mishima wanted to do it I guess. At the end of the day Fairy Tale is a shonen fighting anime and Mishima admitted this in an interview and he wanted to focus on that part of the storyline and he curated Fairy Tale for what it is because he likes the concepts of wizards and magics so the love aspect was always secondary to him. I guess the ending of Fairy Tale is comparable to the ending of Naruto or Bleach being kind of rushed and lackluster to their respective fan bases because in Naruto for example people just ended up in ships and relationships and it wasn't really fleshed out and that's why we're probably wondering why didn't Natsu just say he loves Lucy or Lucy why didn't Lucy just say it. Lucy and Natsu are the most recognizable ships in anime in shonen anime as well it's seen everywhere especially within fan art. Now the conclusion chapter of Fairy Tale, the 48 page chapter reveals quite a bit and the aftermath of defeating Acnologia, with their daily lives being continued and marking the potential end of the manga, in this chapter we get a lot of the classic interactions, almost like a highlight reel of the past 544 chapters. Grey strips and glares with Natsu until Urza smacks them, Gajil eats something he shouldn't have, Juvia gets weeping drunk and starts to strip too because she picked up Grey's habit and Lucy is majorly embarrassed. Lucy then gives us a quick summary about how she actually finished the book she's been working on piece by piece and how she was given the award for it and her book hasn't made her rich but the sales are steady and she achieved her dream of actually being published. Anna is becoming a teacher in a small village and we move on quickly as we learn that. Gajil makes a remark about how Anna and Lucy have the same smell which is why Natsu likes Anna. Natsu then shrugs and agrees causing more blushing. This was the part when most of you fairy tale fans must have lost your minds mainly because this could have signaled something which could potentially occur in the next following pages. So while you were reading it you must have been losing your shit guys you be like I can't die I can't take this anymore. As the party within the guild continues we also get a quick glance of the interaction of Mavis and Zareph. Then Mavis reveals she is a publisher and Zareph himself is a writer. Both of which were wanting to meet Lucy because of how impressed they were by her book. Zareph then tells Mavis that she forgot her shoes causing a bit of a laugh. They then introduce themselves but they're called Arius and Mio now and the two then walk off to chat while the characters just smile and stay out of the way. So more and more celebrating takes place at the party and finally the night ends. Lucy wakes up in bed almost thinking it was a dream and then we get once again not too unhappy in Lucy's room making a mess. Apparently Lucy was so drunk because she's a lightweight that Natsu needed to bring her home and now Natsu has a new job for himself and Lucy which triggers an emotional flashback for Lucy. She then hugs Natsu and Happy gratefully thanking them for all that they've done for her. Now calm the fuck down guys I know you're probably pissed right now but she says herself 
if I hadn't met you as well, I would have never lived any of this. This is clearly where all the controversy began with the final chapter. We all should understand that English dub and Japanese dub have different meanings to it. For example, when showing someone affection, there are many ways to say it in Japanese. However, in English, there is just one straightforward way of saying it all. Well, that mistake took place in the final few pages of the closing chapter of Fairy Tale, where Nazi states will be together forever. Well, when it is said in the English dub, it seems like a friendship sort of thing. However, even Mishima confirmed that in the Japanese dub, it's for the readers to find out. So basically, in the Japanese terms, the Nalu ship is confirmed, guys. Natsu and Lucy, they do want to be together. You can calm down, guys. Calm down. So many people have their own interpretation of this concluding chapter. And to me, I see it as half asked and not much of it revealing too much. I guess that's Hiro Mishima's way of saying farewell to the manga for now. On the last page, we see Grey Urza, Wendy, Juvia, Lucy and Natsu walking off in the distance and it informs us that Hiro Mishima is already putting another manga into works. He's really on the grind and he even hinted in his tweets that it could be related to fairy tale, kinda like a cousin show. Maybe a fairy tale next generations or a continuation of their 100 year quest. So in a recent interview, Hiro Mishima put his opinions out and he said with the ending of fairy tale, Hiro Mishima, he has always said that these characters in which he had created were all inspired by people who have always surrounded him, for example, his friends, colleagues and even his family. He even went on to say that the inspiration of fairy tale when he was asked was what was the initial inspiration for fairy tale? Was there a movie you saw or a book you read that made you think that it would be a cool story about Gildor Wizards? And his response was that the inspiration of fairy tale was that there weren't any books or movies, but I've always loved magicians and wizards. So I thought it would be interesting to do a story about a group of wizards. I might be getting older, but I still like hanging out with friends. I still play video games with friends until the early morning hours. So just the idea was to draw a community of friends and how my friends and I would be if we were magicians. So you guys heard it right there. The whole anime is just a fictional projection of his own life. The character Natsu is literally based upon himself of his childhood. Maybe that's Hiro Mishima's way of telling someone he loves them. It kinda does make sense for Natsu's character to say to Lucy, we will be on an adventure forever. That's like the equivalent of saying to someone's best friend, that's like saying to someone that you're their best friends forever, BFFs, or you don't see your life without that person anymore. If you say that to someone, that kind of means the same thing, that you have feelings for them. He had even mentioned in the manga in which he was juggling alongside Fairy Tale, and it's called Monster Hunter by the way, and he explains that the series is about, he states, it's a video game from Capcom that exceptionally popular in Japan. Capcom knew that I was a huge fan of the game, and there was a new magazine coming out in Japan, so when the editors approached me, I couldn't pass up this opportunity. So not right now, Hiro Mishima is still busy finishing off this manga, but give him three years, maybe two years, and he'll be back maybe with a sequel to Fairy Tail. You just don't know. Maybe this is what's going through his head. He just wanted a break. Uh, they always can bring it back like they did with Dragon Ball Super and other anime. So guys, I hope you learned something new about their relationship in this video. They did declare their love, but it was just in their own way. But about the ending of fairy tale, I thought our theory of Lucy telling this story of fairy tale to her kids with Natsu through her writing of her book that she was making the whole time would have been the most mind blowing and best ending the fan base of fairy tale would have had. That would have been amazing and I'm sure Mishima probably knew about this fan theory. If you guys don't, check out our 10 things you didn't know about Lucy video because if you think about the story of fairy tale in the eyes of Lucy. So it could have been this that she was telling her own story to her kids which was already existed and she's in the future but she's talking about the past and we're watching the past. 
Maybe he has a plan up his sleeve to do a time skip or do a spin off series. Anything is possible. Like Code Geass is coming back season 3. All these anime that we were watching back in the day are coming back, so anything is possible. But let us guys know what your opinion is on the last chapter of Fairy Tale. What did you think of the anime in general? Was Hiroshima justified to do so what he did with the blunt ending? Maybe it could have been a plan to create a sequel. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to smash the like button and support us and hit the notification bell because you know you need to know when we upload next. Follow us on social media and we love you guys and we see you guys next time. Oh,